Hi old folks, this is Nash from uh, GalaxyS2Root.com um, So, uh, today I'm going to show you how to disassemble your Galaxy S2 um, This should work on the i9100, this is what I'm going to do it on But it should be very similar for AT&T and also the Sprint Epic 4G Touch um, First, you'll want to take the battery out um, The reason why I'm doing this is my screen got funky So what I did is I, uh, one of the connections to the, uh, the screen got loose and that's why I did it before. But let me show it to you again. It's very simple to do. You'll need a screwdriver. Um, get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screw out first, all right? And uh, if you have a hot glue gun, uh, that could help. And also, this could be very helpful for those of you um, who broke your uh, touch screen and you can just order a new screen and install it yourself. Pretty easy to do. These Samsung devices, not only the software is very hackable, um, it's been designed practical so you can open it easily um, unlike like the HTC One S it's you know it's very hard you need to glue unglue everything the top off and you know it's not something um, everyday regular regular Joe can do um, but this is certainly something anybody can do uh, with a screwdriver just follow step by step on this instructions and you should be fine um, Actually, you might want to get uh, these two screwdrivers. What are these called? Phillips and the the flathead. All right. So I'm gonna get these screws out, um, and also take your SD card out. Also, forgot to mention that. All right. And make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws are out. And uh, next, you can get one of those plastic tools, or what I like to use is just my uh, fingernails and start at one of the sides anywhere and dig in your, uh, it's good to grow your nails before you do this or um, di start digging in in one of the corners and just start swiping all the way around until everything just pops off which should pop off pretty easily as you can see here um, I'm gonna start on this other side and Let's leave the buttons up there. And it should just pop out. There you go. So you got the first uh, part down. Um, that's it. And uh, later you'll need the buttons. So put the buttons back here. Let me show you the how, how the buttons go. There's actually, good thing I have a good camera here. So that's the power button. It actually fits right in the slot here. And also for this side, I'm just gonna pop it in just now for later. So that way I don't have to mess with it later and plus this part's kind of small. Um, you can see there, popped in right there. So I'm going to leave this alone. Uh, we don't need it. And then uh, what we're going to do next, um, we're going to go pop off everything. Um, starting with this antenna here. Let's get your nails here and just it should just pop off the antenna. So I got it popped off there. Uh, let me zoom in for you. Oh, there you go. That's popped off. And there's actually one connecting to the bottom. Actually, you, you don't have to pop this out unless you're going to take this whole thing out. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take the main board out. Um, and then oh, I'll show you. But this should help you uh, replace screens and stuff. There's a bunch of stuff. There's a connector here. One, two, um, three. That's for the uh, touch screen and display. Four, that's for your uh, front camera. Five, um, I think that's for something over here. Anyway, just pop them all off. Um, just use a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. Just very carefully pop them off. And also, this one I'm gonna pop off. And also the display here, just gently pop off and also the front camera pop off alright and then there's one there Just gonna pop it off there they're all popped off um, that's pretty much it and also there's also the buttons these are actually sticked on there um, so you can use a hot glue to just kind of uh, let it come off but what I like to do is just kinda work it in 
uh, making make, the connector is right there. Making sure you don't um, force that off, or you can kind of slide it up. That's what I like to do. Um, here we go. See better. And slowly slide it off. It should pop out. So that's popped out, right? And there's the power button. You have to pop off here. Um, just work it from the bottom with the screwdriver. That's what I do. Uh, or you can use a hot glue. That's probably the best way. But I don't have a hot glue, and I don't have the patience. Um, that's done. And there's uh, there's one screw there, black screw, two screws there. You take those out, and you can pretty much take this whole thing out now. So I'm gonna pop those off. Whoop. And uh, a lot of parts are should be interchangeable across um, Galaxy S2, uh, like the AT&T Sprint and the i9100. So you know, if you break something, go buy like a totally broken one. Like if you broke your camera, go buy like a totally. Whoop. There, I popped out easily, right? So that that's how you take the um, stuff apart, everything apart. Um, let me show you all the parts now. And uh, I'm not going to go into the details of replacing the touchscreen, but I believe it comes with most of the parts. You just have to take, take this out. Um, I think it's hot glued on there. Um, that part you'll have to. There's a bunch of sites you can see, but I got you through here. And uh, that's pretty much how you take your Galaxy S2 apart. Um, and you shouldn't have a, a too big of a problem with it. Um, just make sure you don't force anything as you saw in my video. Um, I didn't have to force anything. Everything just popped off pretty easily. Um, so let me put it back in. To put it back in, pretty easy to do. Um, just align it where it's supposed to fit. Um, just kind of get all this antenna and all this other stuff out of the way and uh, here we go here we go it's a world record for disassembly and assembly and you can uh, screw one of these screws back in right here so it won't move around while you do this and then um, also another screw down here Get a really good screw, small screwdriver. I bought this for actually like almost five bucks, um, but very nice. It's uh, it's just for like super small screws. Um, don't try to, otherwise you're gonna. I don't. Oh, the wrong one. God. Very bad instructions. Sorry. There you go. That one's actually supposed to go in the smaller hole, but I was trying to set a world record for. Uh, Galaxy has to disassembly and disassembly so um, there we go so I got one screw there one screw by the uh, the rear camera there and uh, we're gonna just start popping in this things um, just slowly work it in and you'll hear a click when you pop it there you go you hear a nice click there and this was one of my problems that one of these connectors were not connected so I just popped them in uh, re reconnected them. See now it's boom. It's, you gotta hear that sound. And also down here, and also down here. And uh, we got one, two, uh, three, four, five connectors connected back, screws back on. And this one you can slowly work it in. Um, use a screwdriver or a flathead and just kind of work it in there and just kind of press it in so the sticker um, sticks back in there there we go and, uh, and the other side too work it in lightly there and let me zoom in there for you guys I should have zoomed in the whole video what am I doing? what am I doing on my phone? there you go so it's kind of Right, sitting right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, that's pretty much it. And then we're gonna pop the case in. Uh, just make sure everything is just kind of in there. And then we're gonna take. Ah, crap! You gotta be careful because this thing comes off. Now I gotta re put it in there. Put it back in there. Not hard to do. Just these things are kind of plasticky. Um, 
one. All right. Now, just very carefully, very carefully, um, very carefully uh, put it like this, and then slowly work it in. Slowly work it in so the buttons are still there. that one's in it should pop in pop in and uh, before you you know screw everything in what you can do is pop the battery in make sure it powers up oh you know what I forgot that Jesus I'm an idiot don't do that that's why <laughs> you'll watch this whole video before you do it but it shouldn't be a big problem I just gotta pop it out and put it back in now So we're definitely not going to win the Guinness World Record today because it messed up there. Put the buttons back. I forgot to put the antenna back. Sorry. Um, but this video still should be helpful because of my errors. Um, you can see there that thing got just jammed there. Um, so I'm going to actually unscrew it a little bit so I can kind of get to it. I've jammed in my... It's still alright there. Jesus. Anyway, this one's supposed to go around the corner like that. Uh, let me show you. Um, sorry, I was trying to do it. Hurry. So it goes under there, and then you can just pop it in. Um, very carefully. Sorry, I got cut off there. Um, but basically, I popped my... Uh, my uh, case back in there. I don't know how much I've missed, um, but I'm not going to do it again. But I'll just show you how to disassemble it and assemble it. Pretty easy to do. Um, that's why this is another reason I love Samsung phones. It's it's very easy to um, open. You know, it's made you know made for uh, easily interchanging, replacing parts. Um, so this should help you. This video should help you replace your broken screen or broken camera or whatever um... hopefully you won't break your phone but these things are pretty durable um... i've dropped it quite a times and uh... the instructions should be nearly identical for the galaxy s2 epic 4g touch and the at&t version and all the other versions um... probably galaxy notes similar to and i'm gonna insert my sim card micro sim in a sim uh, thing here you know and if you get bored um, you can do this with your phone I guess this is, let me answer my sim card side this thing requires me to get it right in there alright sim card insert it and let's go boot up the phone and make sure everything's working including our camera um, sound and whatnot prove to you that assembly, disassembly can be done very easily without breaking your phone. There we go. And uh, that actually took, I don't know how long it took, but the video should be around, what, six minutes, seven minutes? So if you have any problems with your phone, um, like I did with the connector coming off, my screen was going on and off, you might want to disassemble it, assemble it, and that should fix the problem. Um, there we go. Also, let's check out my camera. Um, yeah, camera is working. It was going that way. And let's check out the front camera. It's working fine. And the sound was working since we heard the boot animation. Uh, my Wi Fi is working. My HSDPA is working. Um, my buttons are working. So everything's working here. Let me turn it off to show you that everything's working. HSPA. There you go. So that's how you disassemble, um, dissect your Galaxy S2 series. Um, should be very similar across all models and probably similar with Galaxy Note 2. Maybe I'll have another guide uh, video tutorial on that. But that was how to disassemble, assemble your Galaxy S2i 9100. And uh, if you have a Galaxy 
S2. Don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS2root.com where I update you once or twice a week with uh, ROMs of the week, um, hacks, tips, and disassembly videos like this. And we don't share your email with anyone else. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel if you have. Thanks a lot. And share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. All right, see? It's perfect. Now it's perfect after I fix that problem. I'll have more ROM reviews. Um, anyway, I'm glad to have my phone working 100%. That disconnected uh, cable or that wobbly cable is just getting to me. But see y'all later. Have a good day. Uh, stay high on Android. I'm gonna have more videos. Uh, Galaxy S3 giveaway is coming soon. Um, so watch out for that. That's coming soon in the next couple days. And uh, see y'all later. Oh yeah.